Retail reimagined across Hampton Roads. As department stores close their doors across the region, cities are jumping to bring new types of business. Hampton City Council approved the most recent deal tonight. Tonight on your side, Liz Kilmer joins us live from Hampton with more. Liz? Yeah, tonight council voted in favor of an agreement that will help bring a $12.5 million upscale hotel to the city's former Macy's at Peninsula Town Center. Now, this is a sort of trend that we've been seeing and may continue to across the seven cities. A faint Macy's sign marks a once booming retailer, now the site of demolition. You know, the world of retail has changed, uh, particularly big box retailers. And so while, while it's unfortunate that Macy's is going through the challenges that it's going through nationally, uh, we were not immune to that. It's a nationwide trend seen in Hampton Roads. Big department stores closing their doors. Sears and Macy's in the Chesapeake Square Mall. The J.C. Penney at Military Circle. Vacant buildings where cities are bringing new visions. Hi. Councilman Schmidt. Aye. With a unanimous Aye. vote, Hampton City Council agreed to provide up to about $2.1 million to a developer looking to bring an upscale hotel to the Macy's site at Peninsula Town Center. I think it's probably a pretty good use of it. Leonard Sledge, director of the city's Economic Development Authority, believes the 120 or more rooms will help drive tourism and further contribute to a mixed use, vibrant town center. And I think what we have in front of us is a great adaptive reuse so that a part of the structure can be utilized in a way that furthers our economic development goals in the city. This comes just weeks after we told you about plans for the old J.C. Penney in Norfolk. The store at Military Circle Mall has been empty since May of 2014. Soon it will become the Optima Health Community Care Coordination Center. Like in Hampton, a department store doesn't always replace one. Yeah, shopping online is much easier. Amy Wharton would have preferred seeing Macy's turned into some sort of entertainment center in instead of a hotel, but says another big box store wouldn't have worked. Because obviously they're all going under. And the hotel developer T Peninsula Hotel has several steps to go through before construction can begin. We're told that this project could be completed within the next 18 to 24 months. I'm live in Hampton, Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side. Liz, thank you.